You guys ready to build a roof? What's going on? Welcome back. We're basically gonna be tying the existing roof line right across to the Connex. It'll be a post and beam structure. It's actually gonna be freestanding from the barn but we will use the Connex as part of the structure for this wall. So until we can get that roof done, we've got our temporary set up right here. It all starts right here on this wall, guys. We've already got our posts set up. We gotta get down there and get our beams. We've got everything we need over there for our trusses. And right out here are the beams. So here's how this is going to go down. The connex over here, it's eight foot to the ground. But we want a taller ceiling than that. So we're going to run our beams over here at 112 inches. And then we'll have a flat ceiling coming across that will slope down to the connex. This big post here, that's going to be our hip turn the corner running across this front. We'll be replacing the temporary shelter with framework. Essentially the same thing, two foot wider, and two foot further this way. It'll be 16 inches shorter than the main span. So the hip on the garage over there will turn back and tie in right here. And then we'll do the same thing over here. We'll set another post out here and continue this roof line across and tie it in right here to this main span. So this entire area will be under roof, including the garage. And it all starts by cutting and setting our three posts right along this wall. You can see we've taken time already to pour our piers. They're 12 by two foot deep. We set some Simpson strong ties in here to fasten to our posts. That's what we want. We'll do that on all three of these. ready to get these beams set? Let me get them cut and we'll do that. Okay, so even though we've got those things bolted to the wall, I'm going to put a temporary brace on it. That ought to be helpful 
It never hurts to be safe and sorry. And that'll go right up here in the middle. I think we're set. Let's do this. Using these dudes. Stop tapping structural screws. Well, there you go, guys. We got our beam up. So, there's an old saying in construction. When in doubt, draw it out. And that's exactly what I'm doing out here, guys. You can see we've taken time to draw out exactly to scale what we're working on over here. This is the post that we set, the beam that we set on top of the post, and this will be our truss. And we're gonna be setting these trusses at five foot on center. So we're gonna get into the metal shop next and make some gusset plates. We're gonna want them on both sides. We're gonna need seven times, so we're gonna need 42 gusset plates. We're also gonna fabricate the brackets we need to weld to the connex. So we've got our gusset plates all figured out for the trusses, guys. Our main plate, the top of the top cord, and the bottom cord. You can see it's a different pattern on each of these. I think we're gonna need about 500 screws. So there's our truss. And here's the rest of the two by eights we've chosen to build the rest of them. So now we're just gonna get set up over here and as we build them, we'll pre-stain them. Looks like it's time for the super deck. Okay guys, so we're gonna set up right over here where we drew out that first one on the driveway. And we'll stack them, build them here. We're gonna use these number 10, four inch to screw them together before we put the gusset plates on. using these galvanized deck screws. They're number eight, inch and three quarter.
That's a beautiful truss. about as far as we can go right now. I've got to get in there and finish the rest of the gusset plates. So come back next time guys, we'll pick up right where we left off. And I'll show you how I set this hip. We'll see you later. One more. Next, we'll start on setting these trusses. 